That is right, Gina and Sella. Now, right now, the parking lot here at Beacon Light is pretty empty. But just hours ago, there were hundreds of vehicles in line for the free food being given out. Now, many I spoke with are saying that this is a life save for them during the coronavirus pandemic. It's real good to be able to come out and get food like this. Folks driving up and walking up were all able to receive free bags of food with offerings of all the essentials inside during the food pantry and meal distribution at Beacon Light Baptist Church. When you go to the grocery stores, they're either overcrowded as far as trying to get in or they've run out of what you need. So I think this is pretty cool. You just pull up, you get loaded up, and you're on your way, and it's safe as well. Dion Butler and her family is one of many families impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. John Jones is a senior citizen and says it's scary to go outside. Being able to pick up the essentials is a huge help. Me being a Vietnam vet, you know, and I have like certain elements, I kind of take a, I think I'd be taking a chance to come out. The free food giveaway was put on by council member Jared Brissett with District D in connection with New Orleans based organizations like Culture 8 NOLA and Second Harvest Food Bank who donated 10,000 pounds of food. We're told the food was store bought to help support local businesses. This is about providing resources to those who are in need during this uh, pandemic and this crisis right now. Health leaders say worldwide, the amount of people suffering from hunger could almost double by the end of the year due to the economic impact of COVID-19. Erica chomsky Adamson with Culture Aid in NOLA says she and others just want to do their part in offering aid to those in need here locally. Right now when people drive up, um, they're getting a couple of prepared meals. Um, some apples, some grits, uh, some milk, some chicken. What we're about is really just helping people. Now, this isn't the first food giveaway to actually take place this month in response to COVID-19. And if you would like to volunteer to help with initiatives such as this one, you're being urged to contact our website or to visit our website. That's WDSU.com. For now, reporting live from Gentilly, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.